For the following exercises, graph the absolute value function and plot at least five points by hand for each graph. Okay, so we have two graphs here and they want us to plot, you know, five points by hand. So I made us a little chart for us so that we can, you know, have something organized. The first graph that they want us to draw is y equals the absolute value of x minus one. So normally if we have to plot at least five points, we're only gonna do the five points. <laughs> you always wanna have a point right in the origin, which is zero, right? The x axis is zero. So I want to have a point that has a zero for the x, right? And now I just have to pick you know, four more points. So maybe I'll do a couple in the negative X direction, and then I'll do a couple of points in the positive X direction, just so I get the whole scope of a graph. So maybe I will do a negative one and a positive one, and then we'll maybe stretch this out. I mean, you could, you could have, you know, five of your own points. So I'll do maybe a negative three and then a, uh, a positive three. So there's my five points to, to cover everything. Okay. So all we have to do now is we have the input values. We have what we know for X, all of these five, but now we just have to figure out what the Y's are. And that's when we're just going to substitute all of our X's in for this function. So let's start with the first one. Y equals the absolute value of negative three minus one, right? I'm, I'm just focusing on, we're just gonna go from top to bottom. So the first thing I'm gonna plug in is that negative three and see what my Y value is. So Y equals the absolute value of negative three minus one is a negative four. And now we have to actually do the absolute value function. Remember the absolute value function whatever is inside those little brackets always gives you a positive answer. So Y would be equal to four because the absolute value takes whatever number is in here and turns it into a positive. So your Y answer would be a four and that's what would go here. So I know that I have a point at negative three and then four, one, two, three, four. So I know I have a point here. Now we just have to do the same thing for the other ones. So this would be quite, quite quick. In the flashes of flashes. <laughs> Where is that from? What movie is that from? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> Next one, y equals the absolute value of, now we plug in negative one minus one. So you guys are getting the drift. Y equals a negative two. And remember, the absolute value always just takes that number and makes it into a positive. So this one, for a x of being a negative one, my output, or the y equals, y would be equal to a two. So I'm just gonna put a two here. Okay, let's just keep going. And I don't know what my dog is doing, if you hear him. Must be the school bus. <laughs> Next is an X we put in for a zero. So Y equals the absolute value of zero minus one. So Y equals the absolute value of negative one. So we already know that that's going to be just a one. Okay, cool. Now we plug in a one. You guys are getting it, right? We plug in a one for X. Y equals the absolute value of one minus one. So Y is the absolute value of zero. And remember, zero is neither positive nor negative. So this one you would keep the same. And then the next one, we're plugging in for a three. So Y equals the absolute value of three minus one. Y equals the absolute value of two. And this is already a positive. So you're just going to get Y equals two. Let me plug that in black and y equals two, just to show you the app, the answer to that one. Okay, now we have our five points. Let's plot it, and then we just make a little graph. So we have the first point. Now I'm just going to negative one and two, so I have a point here. 
I have zero and one, so that's right here. Ooh, this, this is looking nice. One and zero, okay. And then three, so one, two, three, and then up two, one, two. Ooh, look at that. So I have something like this, blue and black. Coming down, and then we go up. Ugh, hold on. Let me try that one more time. Coming down, and then we going up. That looks better. There we go. Just maybe, boop, perfect. Then we just have to put our lines in, and there you go, that's the first one. And just know that is a telltale sign that you have an absolute value graph. Whenever you see a V bouncing, boop, that's an absolute value graph. Okay, next one. This one will kind of go quicker. We already know what our numbers are. Let's just do the same. So negative three, negative two, zero. Oh, negative two. We'll do negative one, zero, one, and three. And now this is basically the same thing, but it's just plus one instead of minus one. So y equals the absolute value of negative three plus one. Y equals the absolute value of negative two. We're just doing negative three plus one is negative two. And now absolute value will tell me that whatever the number is, it has to be positive. So Y would have to equal two. And that is the first number. Plugging in for the second one, a negative one. So y equals the absolute value of negative one plus one. y equals the absolute value of zero. Negative one plus one is zero. And zero is neither positive nor negative, so it gets a zero. Next. I hope I'm not going too fast, but I think you guys know the simple math inside the absolute value. Y equals absolute value of zero plus one. Y equals the absolute value, zero plus one is one. And now it just stays one because that's already a positive number. Boop. Keep going. Now we're gonna plug in the one for X. Y equals the absolute value of one plus one. Y equals the absolute value of one plus one is two. Two is already a positive number, so it just stays a two. And last one, y equals the absolute value of three plus one, y equals the absolute value of four, and four is already positive, so it would just stay four. And that's the final answer for the last one. I'll keep that one up there. And that's a four here. So now I have my five points, and I'm ready to plot away. Negative three, I'm doing the top one, negative three and two, so right over here. Negative one and zero. Negative one and zero looks like it would be right here. Boop. One comma, a uh, zero comma one would be right up here. One comma two would be one and two, so right here. And then three comma four, three, one, two, three, and a four, one, two, three, four, we're right up here. Ah. We still have that telltale sign of kind of like a V, right? It's coming down and bounces right back up. Boop, there you go. That looks pretty close. I like that. And then you just put your little arrows signifying that this graph will just keep going on and on and on and on, on and on and on and on, off the page. And that's it. Graph the absolute value functions. Look how beautiful they are. But um, with these, I mean, they're basically the same graph, but just shifted differently. That's it, guys. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments what you thought. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. And tell your friends, all right? If you want to help us out, tell your friends. Tell your classmates. And I appreciate you so much. Have an awesome day. See you in the next question. Bye-bye.